from the Toslowski Gymnasium here on the campus of Arlington High School, ACMI Sports presents Arlington High School Boys Varsity Basketball. Tonight, the Spy Ponders of Arlington High School host the Tigers of O'Brien High School in a non-league game. Hello everyone, I'm Don Phelan, joined by Matt Rury. And Matt, the expression comes up in sports of a must-win situation. And for Arlington here tonight, coming in with a record of six and 10 and four games remaining, it is truly a must-win situation if they want to qualify for the state tournament. Absolutely, the Ponders trying to keep their playoff hopes al alive right now. They've had a really tough season, like you said, six and 10. They've battled COVID, they've battled uh, injuries to their top players. and. Uh, today they're going to try. They're going to battle O'Brien and try and get that win to keep their those those hopes alive. Four games left. They got to win them all. And the O'Brien Tigers play in the Boston City League, and with a record of four and thirteen, talking to Coach Woods before the game, you know it can be a deceiving record when you play in a, a tough league like the Boston City League. So I think it's going to be a good test for the Spy Ponders here tonight. For the Spy Ponders, the starting lineup is Jaden Williams, the tri captain, also Will Safek, number twenty three, who gets the first is. basket of the evening. Good timing. Good try, Captain Hoop there. Also in the starting lineup is Caden Mills, the sophomore, and two freshmen, Owen Haglin, number four, and James Digman, number 33. So Spy Pond is starting a, so a sophomore and two freshmen. Now from the corner right off the bat, O'Brien. McCusker in the corner. that They broke that press and uh, found McCusker in the corner. So McCusker has the first points of the ball game for the Tigers. They take an early lead, 3-2, just underway here at the Toslowski Gymnasium. Shot clock down to 10 for Arlington. Savick's going to take a long three off the backboard. No. Try to check the standing lineup for the Tigers when we get a moment for you. Corner three is up and in. And that's number two, Ibrahim Ba for three. So it's All Caden right. McCusker, number zero. Benjamin Pierre, number one, one of the co-captains. Ibrahim Ba, also a co-captain, number two. Elijah Ford, number three. And David Maduki. Number 13, I was told he's also a captain, so I think O'Brien with three track captains. Now, the Ponders starting with their pressure defense in this game, and they've been burned twice now, so I'm wondering if Coach Woods is going to tell them to lay off and guard the corners here. Mills with a nice shovel pass, got inside to Safak. Safak bobbled right. it and lays it in. So Will has all four of Arlington's points here early on. Five Ponders trail 6 for a nice bounce pass there. The shot is rejected by Safak. Nice job. Great block. Haglin ahead of the pack. He's going to drive baseline. He's going to stop. He gets it down to Safak, and Safak has Safak two more. Safak is doing everything today. Oh, look at this. It's Safak six, O'Brien six early on. Two minutes played here at the Tazlowski Gymnasium. A very fast-paced opening two minutes in this one. I don't know, I don't know how many players O'Brien plays. Will, but, uh, excuse me, I called you Will, Matt, but uh, Arlington only dressed nine guys tonight, so if this pace continues, they could be up against it. In the last home game, Arlington really didn't use the bench much either, so it's going to be asking a lot for the five out there to play a lot of minutes yeah, here Ar tonight. Arlington dressed nine. Uh, O'Brien has more than that in uniform on their bench right now, so That's right. they've got ten guys in uniform on, on their bench, so we'll see how many of them get in. All right. And I think one of the Allington players that's dressed played three quarters in the JV game, so he's only really eligible to play a quarter. Here comes Allington with the missed shot and head of the pack, a little four on two break. Let's see if they can capitalize. Jaden for his first shot of the game is short rim, no. Sat back again, rebound. gonna power again and score again. He's the biggest guy on the floor and he's playing like it right now. Will has all eight of the ponder points and Allington takes the lead again, eight six. Good close, good D by Safak there. And the long rebound there. Remember those long shots usually have long rebounds. Another three-point shot right. attempt. So we're seeing O'Brien really looks like they live and die with the three. Yeah, and the Ponders have started to close out on those three. So if they keep doing that, they might have a chance here. Dingman went strong to the hole. Couldn't finish. Here comes the Tiger. Here come the Tigers the other way. There's another one. They, they're just going to shoot. Looks like all night. They, ooh. Let's see. And apparently Haglin didn't touch that. Last touch by O'Brien. Arlington ball. Might have caught a break there. Yeah, I was going to look and see if the, the replay came through there, <laughs> but no, I'm not going to look at that one. Haglin kind of gave it the old, I didn't touch it, I didn't touch I it. I thought it might have hit, hit his leg, but I, I guess not. I thought so too. Dingman in the corner, dumps it into Will. A little low. Unable to handle it, Arlington turns it over. Always a tough pass to the big man when throwing it down near their feet there.
Third and three. That one is blocked, that was Great close, yeah. Think. Great close out by Mills. I think Mills got a piece of that. Now Caden's ahead of the pack. He's going to drive baseline. Kicks it out. Hagelin for three. No. Long rebound goes O'Brien's way. They have numbers three on two here on the break. Putting it up and no Great block by play. Digman. Digman. Nice job by all the ponders for getting back on defense. Williams ahead of the pack. Lays it in. O'Brien has really been pushing it here. And they, the spy ponders have gotten back pretty much every single time. It's just the first two possessions where they got burned in the corners there and playing great defense ever since. Going to with their largest lead here early on. It's 10-6, Bonders with about three and a half left to go. Now a nice strong move to the hole by Ba. Yeah, Couldn't some finish. Some good defense though. So pack ahead of the pack. Look at that. Didn't touch his leg last. It will remain Arlington ball. He is running hard tonight. First substitution of the game for the Tigers. It's number five, Melchias Palos. The Tigers had some bigger players in, in the layup lines there. I'm wondering if they're going to go to them if Safak keeps playing this way. Dingman for three in the corner. It's going to be long. Rebound just able to keep control was Ba. Ba with the little dump pass inside to Ford. Kick it around. Nice little entry pass there. Unable to hold it. It's tipped. And there's another block. Duque oh. unable to finish. Arlington ball. They're playing great defense again. I mean, that seems to be the calling card of this team whenever I'm here anyway. Oh, nice swing pass. Tigman's gonna take this one inside, no. That was a good move by James. He's been yeah. he's been taking the three, and so that time he went with the fake Surprise, three. He was wide open in the corner there. He probably had a good look at it. Wow, that's deep. Sapak with another rebound. He had a double double the other night when we had the game last Friday night. Aglin with a nice move. No, Sapak with the rebound. He puts it up and scores oh, again. Oh. Is that all twelve or does he have ten? He has that's ten. Ten. Of the all right. Yeah. 12. Williams got that layup. That's right. Little floater there. No rebound fought for. Put back by Maduke. That's the first points for O'Brien in quite a while. They were on a cold spell there. Cut the lead back down to four. It's Ponders 12, mm, O'Brien eight. Two minutes to go. And a good strong move there. Looked like a little contact there on McCuska. No call, play on. It's a great steal by McCuska. He read the pass there. And I was just gonna say before that call that we played this up and down pace for six minutes and three seconds. That's the first foul of the game. So oh, we like that, right? Yes, we do. I know the ref in you likes that, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Here's another substitution for the Tigers, number 32, Howard Bro, a 6'4 senior center. So there's some of the beef you talked about there, Matt, coming in to maybe bang with Will a little bit, although it looks like... It's not matched up with him at the start. Looks like they're playing a box and one on Jaden Williams. And it looks That's like it's exactly number what they're doing. It looks like it's number five, Melchias Palos, who just oh. came into the game Sack all over him. Snuck by everybody in that box there. He snuck right into the box. He's got a dozen first quarter points. They've got to do something about him. I don't think that's the right defense to throw at the, the Ponders when he scored 12 points already. They might have to go triangle and two and put somebody <laughs> on him. Or maybe box in one on him and they'll take that chance with Jaden. Jaden's only yeah, had a Williams couple of shots. Breaking so himself here. I feel it. Caden Mills oh, went into the almost traffic. almost a triple team, yeah. Yeah, and that's cost him the turnover. Too many players there. And Mills tried for the block shot, didn't get it, and the lane is good. And that's number three, Elijah Ford, his first basket of the game. 14-10 ponders. Got up and slapped the backboard there. He might have got away with one yeah, there. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that against the rules? It could be, depending on the interpretation of the official. Hagelin's going to fake. He's going to pull up, take a little short jump shot. Nice and hits. shot. Owens Perfect. first basket of the game. I don't see the mid-range jumper anymore. I love seeing that shot. And now Will's going to get a little cheap blocking foul out here. Yeah, he's not happy with it. He knows it's a foul, though. Coach Woods didn't like it, but as you said, it was a good call, an unnecessary foul, but uh, hopefully that won't put... Yeah, just a little aggressive. You can live with that if you're Coach Woods. Yeah, you just don't want Will getting in any foul right, trouble. Right, you don't want to do that too often, but once in a while, you're okay with that. Arlington looking to be in a 2-3 zone right now. 25 seconds in the quarter, and it looks like about... I can't see the 16, shot. 16-15. 16, so about a 7-second differential. 
This will be a three, I'm sure. It's no good. Oof. Fell right into his hands. A little jump hook there, no good. Arlington unable to come in three for a quarter. Three chances for O'Brien here. A little pull-up jump shot. Thought he went to travel. Around. No, Safak with the rebound. Arlington has six seconds. Let's see if they can get off a final shot. Here comes Owen Haglund. Haglund into the paint. Mills Caden gonna Mills is going to take the three. Looking and good, make the three! Buddy. There we go. Hayden Mills at the buzzer. Hits the three-point shot. shot. And the Spy Ponders will go into the break between the first and second quarters with a 19-10 to 10 lead. Perfect pull-up from three by Mills. Confidence to knock that down. Nice big lead for the Ponders. And they just look to be outmatching and, and just sort of out-strategizing O'Brien at this, at this point. I mean, uh, there are some clear... Uh, things that you might be able to at least try against the spine ponders at this point if you're the coaching staff. So if they don't make changes here, I would, I would have to question that if I was a fan of theirs. Hope you're enjoying the multi-camera action that we have here tonight with the young volunteers be doing all the hard work under the tutelage and direction of Anim Osmani, the sports producer at ACMI. We have Anna Servara, Alice Zimmer, Caleb Choi, Ariel Tamir Pinsky, and Drew Carmen. So thank you to those individuals here tonight bringing you this telecast. Been a good crew all season long. Arlington with two home games remaining after this. And um, on Friday they'll be here in a non-league game against, no excuse me, that's a league game against Belmont. And then the final game at home will be a non-league game against Boston Latin. So that game against Belmont, we had it as a 6.30 start. That's actually a 7 o'clock start on Friday here at the Tall's Lost Community. That'll be senior night. Arlington with two seniors on the oh, team. Very nice. And we're looking to honor them on Friday night. So we come out of the first quarter intermission. Spy Ponders with that 19-10 lead, courtesy of Caden Mills, Arlington's largest lead of the first quarter. Jump shot, no. Haglund did a nice job tipping it. Dingman's ahead of the pack. Let's see if he can convert. Here goes Dingman, oh, he and he throws it. it down! Oh, my goodness. The freshman. James Dingman, the freshman, as you say, throws it down. And the Pondas lead it 21-10. to 10. The bench is going crazy, or what, what they're, what's left of it over there, anyway? The four guys. <laughs> oh, what an exciting play by the freshman and things to come. For the Ponders, again, Allington with a sophomore and two freshmen in the starting lineup, and actually two juniors, too. No, excuse me, one senior, Safak. Jaden Williams is a junior. So. Send it up again. Ooh. Here's Haglund that had the pack. Let's see what he does. He's going to go up, and a blocking foul was called. Nice Hag job by him to sort of come back for that ball, make sure he secured it before he kept going. Haglund will go to the line for two. Well, let's not forget about the girls' varsity. They're, uh, they're going to be playing on Thursday, February 17th at 7 p.m. against Northeast Metro Regional Voc Vocational Tech. And uh, they played yesterday. No, that's today, it says. Earlier today. And they won 47 to 25. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm being given some bad information here. Yeah, that does say the 15th, it and does. today is the 15th, because we know that you know when the 14th is, Matt, being That's right, that's Valentine's right. Happy Valentine's Day, Day everybody, yes, of course. Owen hits one of two, and the Pondas extend their lead. It's 22-10. We played about a minute here in the second quarter. A little two-point shot, a rare two-point shot by O'Brien, it's Benjamin Pierre with his first basket of the game. And the Pondas lead at 22-12, 6.43 remaining oh, first half. Mills wide open. They got it to him and he made a nice pass to Will Safek right. and he lays it in. He had a couple options there too. He had Dingman in the corner, he took the safe option. Caden Mills, beautiful pass, Pondas by a dozen. They've doubled up O'Brien here early on, 24-12. In a lane, pull up jump shot around the rim and out. Bad luck there for Ba. Yeah, they've gotten a couple good looks. There's nothing's falling for them right now. Jaden Williams. Now, if you told me that Arlington would be up by 12 points with six minutes to go in the first half and Jaden Williams only has two points, uh, yeah. I'd be surprised. Definitely surprised. Ooh, it's a little trouble. Yeah, little shuffle. He tried to keep that foot down, didn't quite get it. Couldn't decide, it looked like he was gonna pull up for three there and then decided maybe he should pass and speak up. 
got ahead of himself. So with this pace, Arlington is going to have to use some bench players, and they have just done, done just that as number 20, Matt Newford checks into the game, a junior. And also in the lineup is Andrew Klossi, the other Arlington senior, he's number three. Three point shot bounces up and over, that's out of bounds. And it'll be Arlington ball. Klossi will bring it up for the Ponders. That's Matt New for number 20. Pass trying to get it inside. Jaden Williams knocked out of bounds by the Tigers. Tigers are coached by Drew Brock. He's in his 12th season as the head coach of O'Brien. Of course, Arlington coached by Jack Woods in his third season. Mills had it stripped. They got people ahead of the pack. Let's see what number 13 is going to do. He's just going to lay it up and in. And that's number 13, David Maduki. Maduki now with four, leading the way for O'Brien. He got up there pretty high. He probably could have dunked it, but took the safe route. Probably that's the smart thing to do when you're down by 12. Inside, Will kicks it back out. Jaden, excuse me, Caden Mills for three. No. Ooh, so big, big man for three. Yes, sir. Back rim, no. That's number 32, Howard Bro. Inside to Safek. Safek unable to handle it. Last touched by. O'Brien, it'll be Arlington Ball. Substitutions for O'Brien, number two, Ibrahim Ba, the tri-captain back into the game. And checking into the game for the first time is Waldi Baez, number 24. Newfer for three. Ooh, around the rim and out. There's Jaden well, Williams with the rebound, rebound. put back, oh. no, fights for his own rebound. Ball's loose, comes away to O'Brien. And the head of the pack laying it up and in is Ibrahim Va. Again, they're staying with that box and one, as you can see out here at the top of your screen, Jaden Williams being just face guarded completely. Now it's, it's B Benjamin Pierre, number one, that's on him. Yeah, really making him work. And he is, there he goes, oh, get in what there. What a great move by Jaden Williams. Yep. He you had to play. work hard yeah. because not only is it being guided by the one player, but then when he takes it in there, you got the people that are part of the box in the box in one. Sure, so. but I mean, all due respect, if you're going to do the box in one, I think the one has to stay with him a little bit better. I, the, yep. the guys they've been putting on him, he's he's been beating them, and, and yep. whether it's through screens or just off the dribble, I mean, he's getting what he wants right now, which isn't much, you know. I mean, he's it's I mean it's working to an, to an extent, but when he look, it seems as though when he wants to get something, he's going to get it. Well, the thing about it is, is they're shutting him down, but they're doing nothing to stop Will. You know, Will has sure. 14 points, so the rest of the box has to do their job on the other players. And so far, that hasn't been the case. James Digman back into the Arlington lineup. He replaced Caden Mills. Mills gets his first break of the game, and now a reach-in foul is called and committed against number two. That's Ibrahim Ba. For Ba, that is his first, third on the team. Again, with this great pace, we've played a quarter and a half and a total of four team fouls, so... Playing fast, they're playing clean. This game might be over by 7.30. It's <laughs> Jeopardy. Yeah. Ball knocked out of bounds, last touch by the Tigers. Ponders will retain possession on the sideline. Now Klossy checks out of the Arlington lineup. Owen Hagelin, number four, back in. That was a difficult pass that Owen tried to get through to Jaden as both players backed off and got a hand on that, knocked it out of bounds. And a timeout called by Arlington. As we check around the sports scene for the Spy Pawners, the Arlington High School girls varsity team is sitting on the number two spot in the MIAA tournament rankings and their next and final home game of the regular season is this Saturday against Wakefield Memorial High School at eight o'clock. Their last two games of the regular season will play at Pilgrim Skating Arena in Hingham. So this is your last chance to catch the Lady Ponders on the ice locally. And if they're sitting at number two in the tournament rankings, looks like it could be a, a good postseason for the Lady Ponders. Out for sure. Meanwhile, the boys team will finish their regular season on Sunday and next Wednesday. This Sunday, they'll face off against Winchester 
and then they cap off the season against Mall and the Catholic before Arlington boys hockey team will enter the tournament. I'm not sure where they're ranked, but I think they're having a good season too. I think they're one of their big competitors this year is Belmont. I think, um, as a matter of fact, I think they're due to play perhaps tomorrow night. I know some friends that are going to that game and um, that's supposed to be a big matchup. We're back to live action. Arlington leads it 26-16. 3.33 remaining first half. Mm, a little high on the pass. Yeah. Will unable to control that one. Here comes O'Brien the other way. A little up and under, no. Haglin with the rebound. Williams is ahead of the pack. They missed him. That's all right. Tried to get it to Will in the corner. That pass was knocked out of bounds. A lot of team speed on this O'Brien team. Have to be really careful, careful those long cross-court passes. Yeah, they've, they've picked off a couple of passes over in that corner tonight. Ben Radoslovich will check into the Arlington lineup. And Will Safak will get his first break of the game. I think it'll be a short-lived break for him. Newfer missed the short baseline jump shot. Jaden kicks it to Radoslovich. He's going to drive. Kicks it to Newfer. Newfer's going to take a three. Newfer's going to nice make shot. a three. Great looking shot. Matt Newfer with his first basket of the game. And the Spy Ponders lead is back up to 13. It's 29-16. Ponders just under three minutes remaining first half. And they're going to count that basket for number 24, Waldy Baez. And he will go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. And Coach Woods have it, had an earful for Dingham there. And once he's by you, don't hit him in the back of the head if you can't reach the ball, which is essentially what happened there. Yeah, but apparently it wasn't Digman that got him on the head. It was Radoslovich. Oh, that's, at least they, that's at least what they put up on the scoreboard is picking up the foul. Fair enough. And Baez completes the three-point play. Arlington lead is back to 10. It's been 10 most of the way here since they led 19-10 at the end of one. They've maintained this 10-point double-digit lead most of the second quarter, if not the whole second quarter. Newfer doubled up. Nice Long cross-court pass resulting in an open nice. three for Two Newford. Row. There we go. It down. That was the a crowd fired up. dangerous pass. Now Jaden with the steal. He might be able to go coast to coast. He's going to go up. He's going to go up. And he's going to go in. Right, got it. And a timeout will be called by O'Brien as the pond is going a little run here. And they have their largest lead of the game, 34-19 with 2.08 remaining in the second quarter. Great job by Newford, knocking down those two shots in a row. I don't know why O'Brien left him wide open uh, on the second one after that first one was so clean. They had two guys on him, they both leaked away, followed the ball, and Ponders found him. Just gonna wrap up our segment here on other sports for the Spy Ponders. According to the Twitter page, the wrestling team ended up top three finish at the sectionals and two individual sectional champions. So congratulations to Brian Cerboni at the 126 weight class and Dennis Cha at the 195 weight division. So great job there by those two individuals and a great job by the team in the sectional tournament. And that, complete, that completes our run around sports for Arlington High School winter sports. Just still wrestling down in the pit over there? And they, I, they improved I, that, do we know? I don't I know. I hope they improved it at this point. No offense out there, anybody that, that wrestled in the pit. Oof. But uh, if, I, if it's what I remember. A lot of COVID rolling around in there. <laughs> <laughs> Among other things. A little floor hockey over there in the pit, too. I tried to stay away from that place uh -huh. when I was here. Two minutes remaining, first half, as we reminisce about the pit. And I'm sure that's coming down at some point with the construction of the new high school. I think phase one is just about complete. I think there are three or four phases, so still a couple years away from completion, but on the way. Nice steal. I think the gym is the last thing to be completed. Bond just turn them over. Oh, open in the three is. Haglin. Great ball movement. Yes. No hesitation by anybody when passing the ball on this team. They're playing great tonight. Yeah, the Pondas look good tonight. Another Stolen steal. All right. Williams, Williams ahead Williams again. Back. He lays it up and in. And another timeout for oh. O'Brien. They feel this one slipping away. They got to get. They got to fix something fast here before halftime because they are down 20. 20-point 20 lead for the Pondas. 
wondering, this is one of their largest leads of the season. Arlington's played a lot of close games, and this one has the look of a runaway for Best Buy Ponders. Here we go, we got the replay working. They're gonna show that, look at that. Swing it all the way around in the corner, bang. Beautiful ball movement. It's been a couple possessions that uh, Arlington has done that. Two in a row, right? The other one, the ball was on the baseline. They threw a cross-court yep. pass. Swung it the other way, yep. yeah. They're, they're beating that box in one. Every defense that O'Brien has thrown at them tonight, they found a way to beat it. Uh, and I mean, it's just, I don't know what what else they have in their toolbox over there, but they're gonna have to try something. Yeah, I don't know if Arlington you know, knew this coming in and game plan for it, or they've just been able to make the adjustment based on what they're seeing, but uh, Outstanding job by Coach Woods and the staff tonight. And Arlington with a 20 point lead to close out this first half, a minute 21 to go. And Bryant used timeout number two. They have three remaining. Arlington used four, uh, has four timeouts remaining, having used just the one. Pull up, pop there is good. Ibrahim Ba with another basket. He has seven leading the way for the Tigers. Dingman, baseline drive again. They throw that pass all the way across the court. Newfer in the corner. He's going to drive. He's going to dump it down to Reslovich. No. Ball's being kind of bandied nice around pass. here. And now Jaden's wide open underneath. He's going to lay yeah. it in. Great patience again by everybody. No hesitation on the passes. They found the open man. Jaden Williams in double figures. He answers the last O'Brien basket. Now Arlington maintains that 20 point bulge. There's about a five second differentiation between the two clocks. This is number 11 for O'Brien who checked into the Arlington lineup. Jared Rosario oh, another stolen. Steal. Here's Williams. He's gonna dunk that one. Oh, that one. got a little, a little too fancy there. Instead, Ding was gonna take a three, short. Six seconds to go. I think O'Brien's going to get a final shot, a little flip shot. No. On to it, the rebound. Hagel, let's see if he can look up. I don't think they're going to get a shot off. And they don't. Digman will launch it for the heck of it. Wouldn't have counted anyway. So a very fast paced, up and down game. Spy Ponders have played exceptionally well. They'll go into the half with a big lead. The score at the end of the first half Allington 41, O'Brien 21. Matt and I will be back with the second half action.
there. And getting ready for second half action, we just heard the horn for the warning signal to let the teams know. That, and now here comes O'Brien out of the locker room now. <laughs> Coach Barack had them in the locker room for nine out of the 10 available minutes at halftime. Hey everybody, Don Phelan along with Matt Ruri. Anim Asmani is the ACMI sports producer leading his team of Anna Cervera, Alice Zimmer, Caleb Choi, Ariel Tamir Pinsky, and Drew Carmen. And Matt, what a great half of the Spy Pond is. In the first quarter, it was pretty much all Will Safak. He had a dozen of Arlington's 19 points. Second quarter, Arlington scores 22 points. Only two of those belong to Will, and the rest of it was spread out amongst several Arlington players. Yeah, what a, what a great first half. Like you said, uh, Safak started things strong for the Ponders. They established themselves and got a nice big lead, and then they started moving the ball around. Great passing throughout the, uh, the entire first half and the second quarter in particular. And uh, you got uh, you got to see the use of our new replay system with one of those passes around the around the horn for a nice three pointer in the corner. Yeah, O'Brien well, was playing Jaden Williams tough with a box and one in the first quarter, and whatever they were doing that held Jaden down. Jaden responds with ends up with ten first half points. You had Owen Haglin hit a three, Caden Mills hit a three, Matt Newfer hit two threes, and Spy Pond has really did a nice job spreading it around in that second quarter. And again, they're all over Jaden Williams. They're going to go back to Will Safik. He's going to take a difficult shot as he kind of ran out of room there and had to come back towards the basket. Tough shot there, no good. Yeah, definitely seemed to have forced that one. And here's a three from O'Brien. Maybe they found themselves in the locker room. Arlington should not be lackadaisical here. They're going to have to keep the same intensity that they had in the first half. Ibrahim Ba with that three. Digman, baseline drive, puts up, tough shot, no rebound. Will Safak nice puts it in. follow by Will. If O'Brien starts to hit their threes, then Arlington really is going to have to keep the, the Jets on here because you can't let a team like that come back. It'll, it'll happen real before you know it. Yeah, you know what? It's early in the, in the, in the second half, obviously, but yeah, O'Brien hits a three on their first possession, and, you know, you just don't let them get the momentum, and Will Safak with the follow-up basket. That's a big, kind of a quietly a big basket, I think, at the beginning of this quarter. Definitely you want to keep the tone uh, that you set in the first half. Number five, Melchias Palos back into the game. Safak again with a follow up. All right, focusing on Will Safak here. Again, deja vu. Safak has 18 of Arlington's 45. High point man for the Ponders and in the entire game. Will step back three, that's way short. Ponders with a little bit of a break here, but Brian is back defensively. Good the D. double team there. Yep, great defense. Oh, even better defense on the way back. Who's going to get credit Haglund, for that block I think, shot? Back. Haglund. Dingman Pretty was there short. too. Yep. And a clean block shot there by the Ponders. The freshmen's con converged on that one. Now a missed shot there by O'Brien, unable to haul in the rebound as Karan Blakely, number four, checks into the O'Brien lineup for the first time tonight. They're so double teaming Jaden Williams now, by the way. Bryant with players zero, two, three, four, and five out there number-wise. You don't see that too often. Mm -hmm. And number one is one of their starters. He just checked out, Benjamin Pierre. Now O'Brien is just tremendously aggressive defensively. They yep, need to get back. They're putting the double team on them. Every, every chance they get caused the turnover there. Another block oh, shot. And that's twice now that the Ponders have gotten back and gotten a block on a layup. That's great defense to get back. Elijah Ford had his shot blocked by Jaden Williams. Now for Arlington, Matt Newfer had a hot hand in the second quarter. Checks in the lineup, replacing Owen Hagland. Three-point shot in the corner is no good. Dingman with the rebound. He's got Jaden Jaden with one-on-one -on -one coverage here. Now he's doubled. Now he tries to get an outlet pass. Didn't work. O'Brien has two plays ahead of the pack, and that's going to be a foul yeah, on Newford. Definitely. Another good block, but he got his left hand down oh, yeah. on, the, on the back there and gave him a little push. So he tried to deceive the ref a little bit by showing the right hand up high. The ref caught him with the left down low. That's just great officiating right there. Everybody's looking at the beautiful block up top and not many looking at that low hand in the back that affects the shot, so a great job of officiating there. Newfer picks up the foul, his first, first on the team, and the first free throw 
is good by Caden McCuska, number zero. Both of them for the sophomore guard. He's got five. Fond is still up by 19, led by 20 coming into this quarter, so they've only given up one point so far. Which is strange, because it looks, it seems as though O'Brien's playing much better on offense as you see Wilson back at the end one here. Uh, but the Ponders really playing just as well on, on the other end, and uh, that's why they still have this large lead. Good power move by Will Safak, count the basket, and he's at the line with a chance for a three-point play. Barely grazed the rim on that one, saved himself some ridicule from the team. Oh, they look like a little stuff, shuffle step there. No, Tim unable to come up with it. And now O'Brien will reset their offense. Ellington really extending that zone, knowing that O'Brien does have those three-point shooters. Mm, shot over it. Didn't help there as McCusker hits a three. Eight points now for McCusker. Still an Arlington lead of 18. And they're gonna try to catch the pass and make a pass in the same motion. Didn't work out, threw it behind Newfer. Yeah, I don't think he needed to do that. He could have probably set his feet first, but that's all right. I understand why he tried. Don't wanna let this O'Brien team make a run here and hang around. No, nope, they're still playing good defense here where the Ponders are. Uh, Jaden tried to get Going it to Will sloppy on O, though. The pass was a little shy. And a beautiful coast-to-coast -coast drive and lay-in by number two. Yep, saw that coming. Ah. Timeout, Jack Woods. Yeah, I don't think he would call one there, but... Uh, well, usually he did, though. He got right in the ref's ear, and so I saw yep. it. I would have called it two, so... Yeah, not a bad move there. You know, you've really only seen four points trim off your lead, but you just don't want it to get to be any more than that. No, and I think it's it's more about the offensive end. They've gotten a little sloppy. They're throwing the ball away. They seem to maybe be a little out of sorts. So uh, I think it's a good timeout, even though not typically the way he would call that timeout. The ACMI network will soon be up and running, which will mean the return of our live streams. We thank our community members for their patience and understanding as we work diligently to resolve network issues. And we hope that you will continue to support ACMI Sports by watching the games. Yeah, we need you to watch these games. I want to come, come back for another season. As we finish out this one with three. Checking out a replay again here. Look at that. That's the and one that you saw a few minutes ago. Will Safak didn't convert the free throw, but that shot went in. As mentioned at the beginning of the telecast, this is one of three remaining home games for the Ponders. They have one more road game and they need to win them all to qualify for the state tournament. 47-31 Arlington, 423 remaining. Nice That's pass. a beautiful play. What a great look by Hagland to find Mills down low. A great job by Coach Woods. He took that time out, he set up a play. They worked to perfection. Arlington back up by 18. Yep, now they're gonna push it again, here we go. Got themselves a little more confidence. Nice, nice play, pass beautiful, the yep, they got it back. Newfer to Safek, and Safek has 22. Great pass, Matt Newfer. Mm. Arlington now matching their largest lead of the game at 20. The point shot was missed. Caden Mills got Jaden Williams. Back to Caden Mills. Mills gonna go with the left hand, no. Hagelin with the follow, no. Hagelin with another follow, yes. <laughs> Owen Hagelin now with eight, and the Arlington lead is their largest of the game at 22 points. 53-31 Ponders, 3-31 remaining, third quarter. That one's good. Let's see it from up here, high above courtside. He is limping after that. That's not good. I don't know what happened to him, but he just started limping, limping away. And they That's Ibrahim Ba, who is clearly the high score man. And they're gonna get him out of this game immediately. He has 15 of the 34, and that doesn't bode well for O'Brien. He seems to be okay. Uh, maybe he just turned his ankle a little bit. He's un untying that left shoe there. Uh, and th he does actually have one of those, I don't know what they're called, compression bands, I guess, on the back of his left leg. So uh, hopefully it didn't aggravate anything serious. Huntington trainer Mick Foley came over to see if he was okay. 
She seems to seems to be satisfied that he's fine. Arlington by 19. Into the paint, tough area to go. Arlington collapsed nicely defensively. A little baseline jump shot there, around the rim and out. There for the rebound, no. Safford gets the rebound for Arlington. Elijah Ford unable to convert for the Tigers. Oh, almost had it there. <coughs> Try to have a little Jaden Caden hook up there, it didn't quite work. And with and a little right. bit of a hitch in his giddy up, number two comes back into the game, Ibrahim Ba, the tri captain. Definitely keep an eye on that. He likes that spot that he's in right now. This kind of, this angle right here is where he's been hitting from. That one's short. Gets his own rebound. Baseline drive, little dump pass inside. Good defense by Allington, bottling up the O'Brien player. Short foul line jump shot, just there, no good for Pierre. Allington with a rebound and a chance to increase their lead. They lead by 19. Coming up on the two minute mark remaining. Again with the double team here. There, yep, there we go, O'Brien. Let's see if Bar has anything left in that ankle. Lays it up, no. Nice block, oh. And the follow up is good by McCusker. Arlington. Eglin seems to be okay after hitting the deck. Only player back really that time for Arlington was Caden Mills and good follow up there by McCusker. McCusker now in double figures with 10. Oof. Good defense a sloppy again here. Play from behind. Around the rim and out. Jaden Williams with the rebound. Allington looking to push it. That's a oh, nice pass. Swings it all the way around. Newfer. Oh, missed no. that one. Caden Mills with a nice rebound. rebound. Puts it up and out. All right. Great rebound. Great little move. Caden Mills with seven. Ba for three. That's way off. Oh. He tried to get Jaden ahead of the pack. Didn't connect. Allington. Turns it over, O'Brien Ball. Number 10, Isaiah Correa into the lineup for the Tigers. Minute seven seconds to go, third quarter. Arlington comfortably ahead by 19. And Barr, apparently that ankle's not so good. He, was, he goes back to the bench. For Arlington, Ben Radoslovich back into the game. Three point shot there, no good, and good follow up there by McCusker. McCusker's been a kind of a scrappy little player yep, for O'Brien. He's, he's got a dozen. And the, literally from the first possession. There he goes again. Yep, knocked that one out of bounds. Another player in the lineup for O'Brien is Bradley Wheeler, number 20. Dingman in the corner, he likes that spot. No. Good looking shot though. He can shoot it from there. He's shown it all season long. <laughs> 22 seconds left in the quarter. 14 on the shot clock. Ooh. And there he is. My man McCuska. Look at that. He's taken over for Ba, because Ba's been injured, so McCuskey's getting the majority of the offense. Oh, chipping four, away. Four seconds to go, see if Alex can get off a final shot. Hagelin took it into the teeth of the defense, lost control of the ball. That shot hit the support up above, and Allington actually can get a shot off. The quarter's not over. There's still 1.1 seconds remaining. Just when you saw, thought you've seen it all over here in the I mean, toss. I don't think we've seen I that. I've not these seen years. that one before not in all these often. years. Recall. So it's I'll like uh, old Dallas Cowboys Stadium there, hitting the. Hitting yeah. <laughs> oh, Jaden Williams count, threw in that well, three-point shot. Let's just get a, a replay on that, even though it doesn't count, huh? What just a fraction of a second <laughs> after the horn ending the third quarter, so it will not count. But wow, I guess I haven't really looked at the score in a while. It's 55-41 yeah, after three. Allington away here. up by 20 most of the third quarter, and now they find themselves up by only 14. So O'Brien hanging around. The score at the end of the third quarter, Arlington 55, O'Brien 41. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Talk about the film festival in Arlington, huh? ACMI is doing an A-Town Film Festival and they're accepting submissions from now up until April 1st. All it takes is a cell phone nowadays to produce a short film and you could just, you might win the grand prize if you put, put your submission in. All communities are welcome to enter the contest and the film festival will be screened at the Regent Theater in May. 
Uh, still no, don't know the exact date for that screening quite yet, but get your submissions in again up until April 1st. For details and guidelines, visit the website at acmi.tv slash atown or contact the youth programs coordinator, Jasper Hamilton, via email at jasper at acmi.tv. Again, that's acmi.tv slash atown or shoot an email over to jasper, that's J-A-S-P-E-R, at acmi.tv. Getting ready for fourth quarter action for the Spy Ponders. They lead by 14. Ben Radoslovich is in there, number 35. Cade Mills, number 21. Owen Haglin, number four. Jaden Williams, number one. And James Dingman, number two. The quintet to begin the fourth quarter for the Ponders. And the Ponders now only up by 14. Somewhat comfortable. Not a good shot there by McCusker no, at the beginning of the quarter. Now. But O'Brien did a nice job get, keeping the ball and getting another possession, but they couldn't hit on the second shot either. So empty possession for O'Brien. That would have cut it down a, a dozen. Jaden Williams, nice little bounce pass all the way across the corner to James Digman. And Digman nice knocks shot. down the three from the spot that we said he likes, and this time he nails it. Big hoop for the Ponders. They get the first points of this fourth quarter and extend the 14-point lead up to 17. Just about a minute played here, fourth quarter. Oh, that's a deep three. Just came up short. Gonna try another one? No, nope, not yet oh. anyway. Here's McCusker, he's gonna try the lefty flip nice shot. Nice little shot, wow. look at that. That was impressive. That was nifty. Caden McCusker now with 17. Bar the somewhat injured player for O'Brien back in their lineup. Radoslovich, yes! Ben Radoslovich with his first bucket of the game. And the upon his lead at 60 to 43. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is Ben the one that played on JV earlier today? I'm not sure. Maybe. Probably not, because yeah. I think you, they do it by quarters. Okay. And so he participated he play in a earlier. quarter. Gotcha. I'm guessing it must be, I think it's number 14 for Arlington, who I don't have listed in my program. Caden Mills, count the basket. He'll go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. Caden Mills is really strong in the paint. Confident down there, he goes up strong. Oh, no, I do have 14 is Peter Clarity. He's the one, I think, that played in gotcha. the JV okay. game. He's on the Allington bench in the middle there. A couple of substitutions for O'Brien. A little bit of a height advantage for Dingman on the free throw lane. Interesting lineup there by O'Brien. Doesn't matter because Caden Mills completes a three-point play. Mills now in double figures with 10. And the Ponders have that lead back up to 20. 63-43. Nice steal. Mm, who? Uh, I don't know who traveled on that. I, I don't think either Ponder had, had possession until Will took one step for his pass but uh, the referee's gonna give him the travel here. Dingman stole the ball and sort of laid it off. He didn't really have possession. He laid it off to Will, who took a step as he was passing. I don't know. Yeah, I took, a, took my eye off the play for a moment to write something down. Didn't see the play, I have no opinion. So you side with the ref, is that what you're saying? McCuska for three, yes. <laughs> and a timeout by O'Brien. It's always a fine line when I'm up here, being an Arlington <laughs> fan and a brother official. I got in trouble one time. A few years ago, a brother official saw me said, do you announce games for Arlington High? I said, yeah, do you know Joe something, something, I don't remember the ref's name. I said, yeah, I said, do you know he's, you know, a 25 year official, has been on our board, is a, you know, oh boy, great official. And I said, sure, okay. <laughs> do you know what you were saying about him the other night? I said, I uh, don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I said, forgive me, you know, when I'm up there doing my thing, I'm a Arlington High alum and an Arlington High broadcaster and I don't think about the officials as much as I should. <laughs> and, uh, that's how that one was was resolved. No, you keep it clean up here. You couldn't be saying much about him. It's not like you called him blind or something. No, like that. no, you got, like you, well, like you and your brother. <laughs> hey, keep in mind that ACMI Sports broadcasts are volunteer productions, and we need your help to cover the games. If you're interested in getting involved in learning sports production, contact us at sports at acmi.tv. I still say it's a great thing that these students get involved, and I don't know if they get course credits for it or anything like that, but just 
any skill that you can pick up in life going forward is a positive. So it's Bipon is now lead at 63-46. O'Brien used that timeout. I believe that's their third timeout. They have two remaining. Inside is Safak. He's been kind of quiet since the first quarter, but he's got two more now. Well, he had a good run in the third quarter, too. I take that back. He's now up to 24 I was points. Say, he's got to be over 20. Yep. And we know he's got double figures and rebounds. Ooh. I wonder if Boz's no foot is hurting him or something because he's been missing shots real badly Let's since he got that one. little injury. Yeah, like that oh, and now he's hurt again. This time it's his face. He's holding his face. Did he get fouled after the shot? I, don't I didn't know if they're going to call this, though. He is holding his face, though. He must have just got hit in the face and nobody saw it. Ibrahim Bao with a little mid range jumper that you so appreciate. He's got 17 and he's going to go to the bench and again. Meg Foley has to come over to the O'Brien bench and check on the condition of a Tiger player. I don't even know who closed out there, but it didn't look to me like he got it in the face, but he clearly did. I don't think he'd react like that if he didn't. Newfer, three, nice shot. yes. Well, Newfer, the time that he's in there, you know, he's a productive shooter. So is McCusker. Look at that one. Oh, I thought that was going to fall. That's got to be a foul. No, maybe not. Jaden Williams right was the ref, too. Jaden Williams was <laughs> three point <laughs> shot there is good. Jaden Williams was kind of sneaking ahead of the pack, yeah. but they couldn't find him. Isaiah Correa knocks down a three, and the Ponders lead by 17, under five minutes remaining in the ballgame. Careful. Almost traveled. Safak baseline drive. Just too strong and too big in this game. You know, O'Brien tried to put some bigger guys in there earlier, but that didn't help. And now Will's just bigger and stronger than everybody right now. Deep three. Oh, boy. Cuska, no. Caden Mills. Let's see if he gives the sap back for the dunk. Nope. nope. Jaden's going to take the easy two himself. I thought oh. Will's got enough points tonight. I'm going to yeah. take these myself. There we go. Look who's coming to the scorer's table. Three point shot there was good by number three. That's I. Elijah Ford and a timeout O'Brien. They take timeout number four. And as Matt mentioned, checking into the game during this intermission, this timeout will be number 14, Peter Clarity. So he'll get his first action. Kind of a cool thing. Got to play a little JV. Now he's going to play a little varsity. Yeah, I don't know how often you see that with a player playing on both teams in the same day. I'm sure it happens, but 72 not every day. 54 ponders, 420 to go. ACMI Sports will try to bring coverage of all of the home games across many sports throughout the year. Our coverage can certainly expand with your help, parents and students alike. Similar to what I said before, if you're looking for volunteer opportunities, join the team by emailing at sports at acmi.tv, sports at acmi.tv. It's the contributions of the volunteers and viewers like you. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast tonight and continue to watch our games. As we mentioned, we'll have two more Arlington High boys varsity basketball games to close out the season. This Friday, the 18th, against Belmont, and Arlington will close out the home portion of their season a week from tonight, excuse me, a week from Wednesday, the 23rd, with a game against Boston Latin. Newfer for another three, no good. Now we're gonna have a rebounding foul, and it looks like they're gonna get McCusker. Nope, it's number five for the Tigers. That's Melkis yeah. Paulos holding the jersey of, I believe, Caden Mills. And that call was made with some conviction, so it <laughs> must have been something the official did not care for. There's Clarity. Caden Mills, baseline drive, kicks it to, oh. was trying to kick it to, right hit the bottom of the back, but that's in play. Two. Way short. For with the rebound. Yeah, slow it down a little bit here. Oh, the double team. Aggressive yep. double team. Bryant's going to play to the final horn. I'll tell you that much right now. Ball knocked out of bounds by Ba. It will remain Arlington ball. So we still have 19 on the shot clock. 3.40 on the game clock. Caden will pull up jump shot. Back rim, no. Nice. Well, already with the rebound, oh. couldn't get it to go. Caden, again, no. 
You've gone far, far, O'Brien comes up far, comes up with it. And Will Chun in the walking boot over there was up off the bench. He really wanted that to go down for Clarity. Three-point shot from the corner is good. That's number 10, Isaiah Correa. I'm wondering if uh, Coach Brock wish he went to Correa a little bit sooner and more often. He's knocked down a couple threes here in this fourth quarter. Ball knocked out of bounds by Paulos. Benjamin Pierre, the tri-captain, back in. Elijah Ford out. Coming up on three minutes remaining in the game. Allington, 15-point lead. Lee was as high as 21. Safek puts it up, off the nice window and in. Play. Look at that, strong, smooth take. 28, I mean, I have him down unofficially with 20 yet. I'd love to see him get another basket and get in that 30-point club. That's an impressive high school performance when you get 30 points, that's For all sure. I can say. Palos gets his first basket of the game. Arlington turns it over. Correa, short on that one. Ball out of bounds, Arlington ball. Looks like the O'Brien bench seemed to think that it skimmed an Arlington player on the way out. But, I mean, Mills was the only one close and he wasn't close at all. Uh, they thought it skimmed his shoulder? I'm not sure, I don't but know they, about they that. seem to have a pretty interesting reaction. Caden Mills out of the Arlington lineup. What a game he had, 10 points. So many other things he does for the team. And he's replaced by number three, Andrew Clossy. So in this game that's been up and down crazy, as Radoslovich gets it to. It's been an up and down fast paced game. We had five fouls in the first half combined. And in the second half, four fouls combined. Yep, and there's Take another. Five. It looked like a block shot there, but with the body, Allington play will pick up the foul. Gonna go against Radoslovich. I think that's his second in the second on the team. Radoslovich, who just connected on the other end of the alley-oop, you see right here. Bang, look at that, nice pass. First free throw rims out for Ba. I have to check my stats and see if this might be the high point, uh, high watermark for the Arlington's offensively this year. Ba hits one of two. Uh-oh. Arlington turns it over. Arlington's still up by 16. Yeah, if O'Brien had played like this, like they've had for the last few minutes over the whole game, then this game would be definitely a lot closer. Arlington scored 72 in a loss against Burlington. Of course, Burlington put up 97 on them. Arlington, this could be it. 76 so far. I'd say so, that's a lot of points. Oh, that's, what, that's what we need, we need a classy hoop. That'll finish, that'll finish things off nicely. I believe he might be the only ponder. Well, Peter Clarity did not score yet, right? Not yet, no. Right, so of the players that have played, you know, significant minutes, everybody has scored. Clarity and um, Clossy both uh, trying to get their get their stat in the book. Two Cusker minutes to do it. Deep again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. McCusker with a big three. Delay a game. Or is that is he? Saying that whistles his whistle. What happened there? I don't know. Is there such thing as a delay game in high school Absol basketball? Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's what he just called. Then I thought I heard it. Perhaps an O'Brien player, you know, touched the ball after the made basket. That's the only thing I can think of for a delay. Was it against O'Brien or against? I Allen? thought it was against the Ponders. Oh wow! Then I have no idea. Nuber's going to take another three. Nice Nuber's going to make Nuber. another three. Nuber has a dozen all on three pointers. He has four three pointers. I think he was only missed a couple. He might be four for six, four for seven maybe from three point range. Yeah, definitely shooting that well for sure, I'd say. It's been an all around great game for Allington. Well, Clarity will get his name in the book, so to speak, by picking up a foul, if nothing else. First against Peter, third on the team. Minute 14 to go, Spy Ponders hanging on to that large lead. The lead is 16 right now, 79-63. Fadeaway three for Bad, no. Good rebound by Clossy. Stripped from behind. 
not clean. Pia picks up the foul. And we've mentioned all the sports tonight. I just want to remind everybody that ACMI Sports has a sports update show that brings you all the highlights and announcements from around the Arlington Athletics Department. So if you're a high school student and you're interested in sports journalism, you can head over to, uh, or you can email sports at acmi.tv and join the sports update team. I believe Xander Lee has a lot to do with that. I've seen a couple of his clips on YouTube. We're gonna have another foul committed by O'Brien, their fifth. O'Brien's gonna play the string out on this one. 54 seconds ago, they're still playing hard nose, double team defense. Nice find. Gets it over the timeline, 46 seconds to go. Inside Radoslovich, he's fouled. Now all of a sudden, it's a foul fest. And all that's going to determine is the final margin of victory for the Ponders. Team foul number six by O'Brien. Next one will result in both. So maybe Clarity or Clossy will get fouled here in the stretch. Go to the line and have a chance to score. Wouldn't that be something? Here we go, get him right now. There's Clossy. Oh, I'm surprised he passed that one up. Instead he gets it to Newfer. Take the assist, no. He's got oh, a what? couple rebounds. He's been sure does. a good, good offensive rebounder for the Ponders. Yep, he's scrapping in there for sure. Ball knocked out of bounds, last touch by Arlington. O'Brien ball, 32.8 seconds to go. Arlington up by 16. Three point shot in the corner is short. There's Bar for two more. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wow. I don't know if he's mad at the officials or what, but uh, yeah. That is his final timeout. He's entitled to use it, but uh, I don't know what that's accomplishing with 23 seconds to go and down by 14. I guess you're telling your team you gotta play it to the very end. Yeah, I you know, this, know. Is, this is my fiance's biggest complaint about the NBA is all the timeouts when the game is out of hand and the fouls when they're, like, I don't know, he's taking a page out of, uh, out of a tanking NBA team's book here or what, but yeah, and, not and something you we're used to seeing. An interesting timeout, none to say the least. But he's entitled to it, refs give it to him, and the best thing for the refs to do in a case like this is just get away in case he's taking it to be a, be a buster of some kind. So again, let's take a look at the remaining schedule for Arlington. We mentioned it a couple of times. Next home game will be Friday night. That's a seven o'clock game, remember, that's against Belmont. Seven o'clock here at the Toslowski Gymnasium, then on the 21st at Bedford. Not sure of the time of that game on the road. And then they'll finish out the season on the 23rd, six o'clock game against Boston Latin. So this is gonna, pass. oh yeah. Oh, that didn't work. That was a good effort there by Coach Woods out of the timeout, probably say, hey, you know, if you're gonna call a timeout, I'm gonna set up a, you know, a big play. Yeah, why not? Arlington could just dribble out the clock here. They don't need to score. Yeah, he was trying to get Clossy some points there. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. So with this win, the Spy Ponders will improve to 7 and 10 with those three remaining games that I just mentioned. Arlington needs to win them all. Three-point shot there by Barr. If Coach Brock had another timeout, I'm sure he'd use it. He does not, fortunately. Radoslovich, double team. This should be a held oh, ball. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. And with 5.8 seconds to go, the arrow is pointing Arlington's way. <laughs> yeah, he's really dragging this one out. Well, they're gonna make the margin of victory for Arlington a little bit smaller than it could be. See, they're calling for a foul. The officials don't want to call a foul here. They want to get this game no, over with. They definitely don't and want now, to do that. And now fortunately, yeah, Jay Play right till the end. I mean, it's out. definitely, if, if you're a coach and you want to instill some something in your team and get them to play right till the end, O'Brien certainly did that there, cutting this lead down to just 11 at the end. They were down 22 at one point, mm -hmm. so um, they, did, they did come back a little bit, but Arlington able to hold on. Let's round up the scoring for both teams. For the Tigers of O'Brien High School, Waldy Baez had three. David Maduki had four. Isaiah Correa had six. Melchius Palos had two. Elijah Ford had five. Benjamin Pierre had two. In the high point total for the O'Brien Tigers, McCusker, Caden McCusker with 23 and Ibrahim Ba both with 23. They both had their moments in this game tonight, mm, Matt. Interesting. For the Spy Ponders, Ben Radoslovich had four. James, James Digman had five. Owen Haglund had eight. Caden Mills in double figures with 10. Matt Neufer with a dozen, hit four three-point baskets tonight. 
Jaden Williams with 12. High point man for the Spy Pond is in the ACMI player of the game, Will Safak. And he did it in stretches early in the first quarter, had a dozen first quarter points, didn't do much in the second quarter, had a nice run in the third quarter, and he was really the player of the game for Arlington tonight. Absolutely he was. He set the tone early. He got a couple nice blocks in the first and some good rebounds. And uh, he was dominant on offense in the first quarter. They didn't need him in the second because, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, they spread the ball around quite a bit. And then uh, when O'Brien started to make a little bit of a run in the third, he took over again. So like you said, is certainly the player of the game. No brainer tonight. With this result, the O'Brien Tigers will fall to four and 14 on the season. Pond has improved to seven and 10. Again, another shout out to Anim Osmani and his crew tonight. Anna Cervera, Alice Zimmer, Caleb Choi, Ariel Tamir Pinsky, and Drew Carmen. Thanks again to all of you for all you did tonight to bring us this telecast. That will wrap things up here from the Toslowski Gymnasium. For my partner, Matt Rury, I'm Don Phelan. The final score here tonight, Arlington 79, O'Brien 68. Thanks for joining us.